I looked at a chart of Shiba Inu, and I thought, this is going to. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. My name is DaVinci Jeremy. I'm in the pipe 5x5, sitting live here in Dubai. Hope you're doing well. Hope all is good with you guys. Oh, man. You know, every day in crypto, man, I learn something new. I mean, there's so many projects, the cool projects out there and cool stuff that it's unbelievable. But yes, we stick to some of the main basic ones and uh, and don't look at the others. But man, uh, I'm getting, um, you know, brought projects brought to me all the time. And I am pretty impressed with what they have. And so uh, I'm going to be bringing some projects to you guys in the future. Uh, that some of the, the ones that I've learned about. But, um, but first, I want to talk about this new uh, merge that I'm going to be uh, setting up. Uh, it's just early stages, right? But here it is. Uh, this merge is at Shopify. And if you're interested in getting some I told you so and in the pipe 5x5 five five, uh, t-shirts, right? Um, yeah, you could do so right here. And I'm going to put that link in the description below. But yeah, um, we're going to be doing uh, a little bit of news on uh, Shiba and then uh, going straight into TA both with Shiba, Bitcoin, and Ethereum and see what happens there. And if you're interested in trading, make sure you head over to bybit.davinciej15.com or 2bit.davinciej15.com. Links are in the description below. All right, starting with uh, Shiba Inu news. Shiba Inu became bullish. Ethereum um, price is screen rally. Continuation, Bitcoin price is not giving up. Uh, market dominance, uh, yeah. Okay, let's take a look at all that information. Shiba Inu is currently displaying an uh, ascending triangle pattern on the Shiba USD chart. This uh, technical formation is widely recognized and could be a signal for a significant price surge in, for the meme. Okay, a little bit. That's a little bit on the. Um, that's 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 a stretch, <laughs> right? So. Um, yeah, it was a breakdown here, and let's just see. Maybe, maybe we can, like, uh, I would suggest that we wait for this thing to actually stretch out a little bit further before you um, you, you call this uh, you call this going a bit of a reversal. Um, but let's take a look at the charts, right? And you can see that, yeah, I can say, hey, you know what? It's starting to look like that on a daily, but I would like to see this thing uh, basically create a uh, pattern where it's, we have this line here, and then it does something similar to this, where it's a little bit out further out. And so we keep bouncing around in this area, and then we break up, uh, and we stay to the top, and then break up higher. Um, that's what I'm looking for. But let's take a look at the volume. I saw the volume, and I was like, whoa. Like, whoa. This looks positive, right? Because you've got, like, increasing volume. Right, people interested in buying, and then the price action is going down. Right, the the indicators are going down, and so that is actually um, quite bullish. However, however, there is a however. If the market price does not break out, these people will. If it takes longer to break out, these people will get tired, and this thing will drop. So please be careful. There is a, a chance that if this thing continues to go sideward, we're gonna break down. Okay, let's take a look at the market dominance. Okay, so here is the dominance, and you can see that, uh, whoa, we have broken down. And so the target now is the 49% for the dominance to break down even further. I don't know what this guy's talking about. This chart looks disastrous for the dominance. Uh, you see, it created an M, then screwed you, and then it went down, back down again. So this is definitely a um, bearish situation for the dominance on uh, Bitcoin. Better look out. And um, looking at Bitcoin prices, although you can see that Bitcoin has turned a corner on the daily, uh, I want to show you that, hey, this could come all the way back up to the... Um, top of the range here, top of this EM, the, the EMA ribbon, since we bounced off the lower level of the EMA ribbon. If we do not break down soon, um, yeah, we're going to probably head over to the top of the uh, ribbon. So what are, what's the criteria for that? Let's just zoom in. So you can see that 
two is a possibility here. Still below the um, the EMA ribbons on the four hour. Um, a continuation is a, a is a possibility. Yeah, the bands are tightening. That's what I thought. But here's the thing. Um, I'm a little concerned that even though we could roll over here, there's a higher probability that we're going to break this czar, lucid czar. So we're going to head up to that lucid czar, which is at the 44,000 level, break it, and then come back down is the most likely situation, unfortunately. And that's where the 38.2 is. So 44K looks is looking more and more like the target uh, upwards here than anything else, uh, than a, a, a possible breakdown. So please uh, consider that. And so, yes, I am in a short trade, right? That could get wiped out. So I might uh, reverse that trade because it's looking more and more possible. Now, another thing that's uh, also indicating that my short trade is going to get killed, you can see there is a definite upward trend here on the shorter time frame. So yeah, uh, this is most likely likely to break higher. Uh, the good thing is that it can't break that much higher, but it again, <laughs> it's reached as the target, which I'm expecting at 44 K. So um, yeah, I think it's time for us to reconsider reversing our short trade. Uh, finally, heading it off to um, Ethereum. Oof, yeah, Ethereum also indicating a reversal where uh, if we break this this level here, the, the 2550 uh, level, there is a reversal coming big time. We have to accept the, the, the market as, the, as it is. Um, when it changes, um, you can see um, we're just we're getting, creating higher highs. Uh, this is also a, a kind of a W pattern, right? I know it's not the cleanest, but it uh, the candle bodies um, clearly state that, hey, this is a W. Uh, and if we break this level, the, the 2541, uh, that's it. So I'm going to probably move my stops to that level. If it breaks it, I'm, I'm walking away with my profits and done. If, and so over here, we can open up a, a, on the other exchanges, I'm going to open up a trade um, and, um, you know, trade it to this 44 level because this looks looks like the most likely scenario uh, other than any other scenario. So that's what I'm going to do. And if you're interested in uh, in seeing that and learning more about that and seeing my trades as I do them on CoinW, Bybit, and 2-bit, right? All links are in the description below. You can also head over to, um, just type into the, the description, davincij15.com. And yeah, you can be a part of the group, right? And also be a part of the Telegram, the, um, the Da Vinci token holders group as well. So I've showed you guys how to do that um, on a video just posted recently. So make sure you um, check that out. And yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Cheers.